down with a white. They give it the demon, they give it the top, they give it the Jake, give it skill, my dudes. He gave it to me now. I feel so confused. I'm like, what did I do? Hey, it's Socks coming in with Intervision TV. I have <laughs> your boy One Sap here with us today. So, where'd you get that name One Sap from? Yeah, I'm One Sap from uh, basement mud, you know, growing up in all uh, the world. Where you from? Apoca. Okay. You grew up in Apoca or? Yeah, born and raised in Apoca. Okay. So, what brings you on this side, like Orlando side? Do you, on the west side per se, like you? And then mingle over there, or you just stay over there and I'm not Everywhere. I'm mm -hmm. just to be able to, you know, I'm in, and in, 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 Okay. So, when did you, um, when did you start rapping? I've been rapping. I think I actually started when I was, I could say 15. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 15. When did you start taking it serious? About... 17, I can say. 17? Yeah, 17. Okay. I didn't really take it that serious. It was just like really notes to me. It was just the right thing or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> um, who inspired you to start doing all of this? Like the rapping, just being around music in general? I mean, childhood friends. I actually used to go to a house there and there was a studio there. You mm -hmm. know? So I used to hear people, like one of my stepbrothers or whatever. They used to, re they used to record or whatever. So I just gave it a shot one day. I like how I sounded. They like how I sounded. So as you know, I just rolled with the punches there since then. So. Okay. You know. So, who is your biggest influence as far as when it comes to the rapping or like where do you get your inspiration from when you write in your lyrics? I could probably say the stuff that I've been through. Uh, probably my daughter. Mhm. Mm um, yeah, stuff I've been through with my daughter. So she's like, she's a big part of. Yeah, you know. Okay. Gotta be. Of course, you know. of course, of course. Okay. <coughs> okay, so if you could describe your style, like your style of um of rapping, like how would it be? Would it be like, you know, vibes or like more serious of a, on a life tip? Like you wanna You can actually say vibes and serious life tip because I'm versatile in a way. Okay. You, know, you never know how I'm, I never know how I'm gonna come. So mm -hmm. you know, I'm different in a lot of ways with music. So uh yeah, I can't really say uh, I don't know. I, I say vibes the most. Vibes? Know, yeah, vibes. So you just get in the studio and just whatever you're feeling at the time, whatever's been on your mind, yeah, you just... Life, life story. Life okay. Story vibes. Okay. So how has your music changed since since you've been growing up and doing it? Or have you kind of like stayed the same as far as like how you come about certain situations? Like, you know, you might have been only on hype things when you were younger and now yeah. you're just on a vibe tip or have you always been on a vibe tip? You said it, you said it, but right? I was always, I was hyped mm -hmm. at first, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, like I said, I was just hearing myself. So yeah, I was hyped, but you know, as I started going with music or whatever, uh, progressing throughout the years, I started, I started like rapping about what I actually go through, you know, or what I've been through in life like that, so. Okay, um, let's see. What about collaborations? Like, have you, been on anybody else's work? Have anybody else been on your work, or do you? Yeah, I got a few few features with a couple of people. Um, from Altamont, uh, Tampa. Uh, what could I say? A couple people in Orlando too. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Do you have much. like a team? Like when you do, as far as when you get in the studio, like you know, some people will come in with their engineer or their producer or just whoever is willing to work. You just you know everybody got a team. Of course, you know, of course you have, have to have one. I gotta have okay. A team. Can't be by myself. I know. I mean, you know, you know how it go. Everybody gotta have somebody. This is true. This is true. Two, four hours better than one. Uh, so you know, gotta have a team. Okay. Have you? What about the Orlando scene? Like, have you seen anybody that that you really like want to work with or? You Yeah, it's a couple of people I'm like, you know what I'm saying, wanna work with. I ain't I ain't reached out to them yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm still working on my stuff. So right. once I better my craft, you know what I'm saying, I'll probably reach out with them, you know, because they might be better getting better too, you know, once you right, work. Right. Right. So yeah, I haven't reached out to them yet. I will though. Right. It would it would be that'd yeah. be nice just like watching your progression as you go and watching them at the same time, like mm -hmm. just growing up, like, you know, that work ethic is something serious. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm so, 
Have you performed anywhere like around Orlando or since you're from Apopka in the in Apopka? Yeah, I performed at uh, I performed somewhere in Apopka, a little, a little club one time. Mm -hmm. I performed at um in Daytona, some place called the Coliseum, um, Beach, like twice. Okay. Uh, I think um, what it's called. I forgot the club name. They changed so big. They be changing the club names up so fast and stuff. But yeah, I've been to a couple clubs before, so yeah, I ain't too shy about that. Okay. About like about five, five or six shows. Uh, what is your like? What is your dream venue to perform at? For like, if you could perform anywhere, where would you want to perform? That's a good question. I, I never really thought about it like that. I can say a stadium full of people, though. more like a like you know, um, the NFL, somebody like NFL, somebody like that playoffs. Uh, College, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some big. Yeah, you know, some some colossal. Okay. Like that, you know. What are your goals? My goal is uh, for the music is, you know, for everybody to understand my mixtape and, you know, basically understand my story because my mixtape is basically a story. It's a life story. So everybody got pain. So uh, basically, that's my story. When is your um, mixtape coming out? I'm not really sure yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm still working on the, the date. Okay. I can say sometime next year. The beginning of next year. Do you have any other mixtapes out already? Or? No, not at the moment. Not at the moment. I got a couple songs I'm linking out here and there. You know? okay. so, what are your songs? Um, I got one called Trap House. It's on, um, recorded by uh, Cameraman Frank. Uh, Round My Way. Also uh, by Cameraman Frank. Um, uh, Work by my boy Vos. A couple videos, you know. That's so far. Three of them that I can name so far. But yeah. Those are videos I got so far. Okay, that's what's up. Um, one more thing. So, you said your name was One Sap. Where'd you get that from? Like, where'd that come from? Basically, because my last name is Sap. So, you know, everybody calls somebody One in the pocket. So, might be like One Paul, like, for instance, like One Salt, mm -hmm. you know. It's only <laughs> one of you, so, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm the, I'm the One Sap. I know there's, like, a lot of Saps, but it's only, it's only going to be one of you. So, you know, One Sap. So, I rolled with it. Everybody gave it that name, so I stuck with it. Okay. So, that's what I bob off. All right, that's what's up. All right, well, thank you for coming out. You know, let me interview you. Appreciate um, y'all having Thank me. you. That's one step in your social media. Go ahead oh, and let follow me know on your social media. Follow me on IG. My Facebook is on the construction right now. I'm still working on that. So you follow me on IG at once, the real one step. So, uh, yeah, follow me. You know what I'm saying? Let me scared. Share my music. Share everything. Get up with your boy. <laughs> Follow one sap. Okay. Thank you, one sap, for coming in. Thank you. For with the intervision. This is Sauce and One Sap. That's it. It's over with the fucking stress and pain in the sense. I look at my daughter and wonder do she accept me as a daddy. With more potential than average. She looking at me like that, why you lacking?